controller to a couple of different devices all at the same time. So let's stop things. Yeah, let's see what happens. Right. First of all, we've got Serato running on this computer here, and you'll see that is controlled over here. Alright, that's Serato. Controlled here. Over here we have Algorithm DJ running on an iPad. That there is also controlled by this. No trickery. It's actually controlled by the same thing at the same time. Okay, so we've got an Air 73 here, I've got deck one and deck two is controlling Serato. Then when we flip this over to deck three and deck four, we have control of algorithm. Now how I've done that is out of my laptop, which is where the NS7 is plugged into, that runs into this device here. Now this is actually my lighting controller, it's a Korg pad control. And that runs into the pad control runs into my computer via USB. Then I have two MIDI cables that run out to this fast track ultra, which I just happen to have lying around, which is an audio interface that is connected to something down here. A very expensive adapter. I don't know why they charge so much, but that's called a hyperdrive, which is a USB C to everything else adapter and that's plugged into the iPad. Um, now out of the iPad this hyperdrive actually has a headphone output. That headphone output runs into channel 4 on my mixer. Out of this little device here we've got an output in the back there. That output runs into channel 3 on my NS7. Setting up over here on algorithm. I can't see what I'm doing while I'm looking at the phone. If we go to audio setup, we've got the fast track pro running out as the main output and the headphone output being the pre cue output. Now what that allows us to do is it means if I permanently leave headphones selected there, I've always got my right channel running into channel 4 on my mixer and my left channel always running into channel 3. Now you can do that just by using split queuing with a DJ adapter on your headphone output but I required the MIDI connection anyway in order to get the controller link so I might as well just use the audio output that I've got there. Software wise over here there's a couple of things involved to make it happen. First of all, you can do this over a network if you need to, but um, I found there was a little bit of instability with the network. And that is done by running a program called RTP MIDI. If we look over here, RTP MIDI is actually creating ports and establishing a connection with Rob Surface Book 2, which is the laptop. And... Rob's iPad, which is actually the iPad Pro that we've got everything connected to at the moment. Now from there, I have the next app, which is actually Pocket MIDI was the one that worked. I tried a few different apps that should have probably done the trick, but didn't. Now what Pocket MIDI does, that's this one over here. We assign the input port is the what I'm viewing which is the Newmark NS7, and the output port is my pad control MIDI out. That's just what I'm viewing. In the MIDI settings on this, you'll see I've got 
input NS7 going to output on my Korg pad control, and then I've got input from the pad going to my NS7. So that sends data both ways, and you can monitor what data is at least coming out or in by switching these screens over here. So what that effectively does is every time I press a button on the NS7, that sends it into the laptop, sends out of the laptop to the pad control, out of the pad controls, MIDI out, into the Fast Track Pro, out of the Fast Track Pro, into the hyperdrive, out of the hyperdrive, into the iPad. And then everything the same in reverse. Um, the only thing I haven't really got sort of that yet, which I'm hoping I will be able to achieve, is getting lighting to work. Um, I, the play button works only because over here, I've got to switch to a line input, not the PC input, so there's nothing actually happening on the computer and the computer's telling it to light it up. It's not actually real data and that can become out of sync. So that is a slight problem. Um, so if somebody knows how to deactivate MIDI mapping for these decks on Serato, let me know. Otherwise, this will also work over a network without any cabling. It will also work over two laptops. So you can have two laptops running Serato at the same time. Um, you could even do two iPads if you really wanted to, I guess, as well. But that, as far as I'm aware, is an unsupported feature. New Mike didn't know how to do it. Serato didn't know how to do it. And everybody else said it couldn't be done. And it's been done. Hopefully, they bring in some native support for it now that we can see that it's not as complicated as they said it was. Thank you.